Hello guys, this is a course record attempt video at the Port Bantai Golf Club. Me and two of my friends in a three-man scramble, trying to break the record of 60. Chrissy is an 8.7 handicapper. Colin is a 10.3 handicapper and I'm an 8.9. So all very similar standard. So first off was Colin. He uh, hit a bomb down the middle. Then Chrissy hit a fairly bomby draw. And I hit a fairly, not too bad cut. I'd have been happy with it in the middle. So all three down the middle. Let's see which one we took. So we took Chrissy's drive. I actually thought Collins hit the longest drive. But uh, all in the fairway. Uh, I think it was around about 120 yards. If you're watching this video, I messed up and didn't plug the microphone in properly. So that's why I'm doing the audio. Yeah, 120 yards. So Chrissy hit a pitching wedge, I want to say. I hit a nine and I'm pretty sure Colin hit a nine. Let's see whose second shot we took. So we took my second shot, I was first up with the putt, and missed it low left. Then Chrissy was up, Just ran out of steam. Not a bad lag put. So we were definitely in for par. Finally Colin. Could he get the birdie and get us off to a great start. And he absolutely rams it home. Cracking start. So one under through one. On to the next. So the second hole now. Par four. Chrissy up first. It's an absolute bomb. Colin second up, another great drive, really no point in me hitting, but we'll have a shot. And there's my little fairway finder, but I can't compete with these lads. As you can see we use Chrissy's drive again, that's two in the bank for him, we need to use four drives each. So let's see what we can do. Up first is Chrissy. Unfortunately, he hits it very fat. Up next, Colin. Thin as fook. Not ideal. Bit of pressure on me. Pressure on me. And I think I've hit a good one. So let's see when we get up there and who shot we use. So we took Chrissy's shot as mine was off the back of the green. Chrissy plays a really nice chip shot here to free me and Colin both up. Colin hits a very good chip as well. I absolutely hit a horrendous one. So Chrissy, just a short tapping par, and that's us one under through two. So I hit my little fairway finder down the middle till they free up the boys so they could take on the corner. And Colin uh, hit well, his pretty straight, but uh, it was still in play. I think it actually went through the bunker. Then that gave Chrissy the license to go over the corner of the trees. Let's see how everyone got on and whose ball we used. 
as you can see, me and Colin hit uh, two very good drives. And then we found Chrissy's. And because it was a lot closer screen, we thought we might be able to get closer to the flag. So we took Chrissy's. It wasn't a bad lie. Let's see how we get on going for the green. So decided to put the camera on the green just in case uh, we got a chip in. Chrissy and Colin went for similar shots. Chrissy up first. Bit of a punchy one to try and get it to release because it was quite damp. Just got caught and uh, just trickled onto the green. Then Colin, similar again. Didn't quite get all of it and it just trickled out onto the green. I went for 52 degree, tried to fly it, be a bit more aggressive. Unfortunately, it just hit the green and died straight away. So we had a longer than average birdie put from where we were chipping over from. So let's see if we can make it. So we used my approach shot. It's a very tricky putt, this swinging massively left to right, breaking loads near the hole. Um, unfortunately, I missed it low and hit it a bit too firm on that line. Need to be higher and lower. Higher and slower. Jesus. Chrissy was next. I thought he'd hit the absolute perfect putt. And just somehow it still missed low. So can Colin rescue us like on the first hole? And Colin is next. Can he save us like on the first hole? Unfortunately not. He gets my uh, dose of hammer hands and blows it past the hole by a good bit. Me and Chris had a bit of a chuckle. Um. But that's a par and that's one under through three. When Chrissy just cleans this up. Yep, one under through three. Part three next up the hill. Always plays long. Chrissy, mad dog Lawrence with a five iron. Animal. Just pushes it right. Colin next with his hybrid, I think. Um, yeah, just pushes it right as well. Then Pussy or Carlito with his cutty driver that stays left on him. Not the best three. So we use Collins chip. He was first up. It's a pretty good chip. So gives us a chance at par. Up next is Chrissy. Doesn't quite get over the hill. Not a bad effort though. Finally me. And what a bag of shite. Less said about that the better. And we've got an absolute tester for a uh, part. The kind you don't want to be putting last and needing to make it. And we can't afford bogeys in a scramble. But fortunately, Colin seals the deal. That's a par, one under through four. Onto the fifth hole now. Mad Dog up next. It's a bomb, but just pulls it left. Big C up next, and he hits another bomb. Again, not much point me hitting after this. I'm just doing it for practice. Although I do need to get four drives in as well. I hit mine and it's just over the burn. Wasn't the greatest. So yeah, off Colin's drive as you will have guessed. He just leaves his shot at the green. So on to Chrissy next. Chrissy hits the green. But just back right. So a little bit of pressure on me after that drive. We want to try and have a decent birdie chance. I hit a gap wedge, a nice little draw. Looks good, but I thought that on the second. So my shot was very close. Left me with three foot up the hill. Couldn't ask for a better putt. Lads were giving me shit, saying they weren't getting the putters out. I think deep down they wanted me to make it, but 
at the time it was like the bastards want me to miss this on camera uh, but we made it and that's two under three five so we're on track right the sixth hole and final part of this video big dog off first it's a bomb all the way up the right hand side Colin up next hits an absolute bomb down the middle ideal position CK slices it into the trees not my best driving display on this first six holes and yet to get a drive in, and it's not going to be that one. So off Colin's beasty drive, better angle in than Chris's. Chris's was further up, but Colin's better angle. Colin clips a beauty. Oh, Chrissy up next. Not too bad on the green. Finally me, bit of freedom to go at this. And fet, fet, fet. Colin going for a solo birdie here. It's an absolute treacherous green, this. No hole is ever in a good place on this green. And Colin just misses it. As you can see, the angle doesn't do it justice. It absolutely flies down the hill after he's just missed it. Chrissy up next. And obviously leaves it short because it's a petrifying putt, but a great chance for the par though. Chrissy frees me up to have a go at it, and I give it the old hammer hands, and as you can see, just flies round the corner, breaks and down the hill. Um, so that's the end of part one. Two under through six, not the worst, no bogeys, so that's important. I haven't drove the ball well. I think my wedge is not too bad. Um, yeah, so let's see if we can uh, stay on track for the course record. See you in part two, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the audio. This is my first ever time doing it. Absolute nightmare. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.